Hi guys, D900 man here once again from MigrateiPhone.com and as you've probably realised from the start of this video that we're not going to be reviewing a product for the iPhone 4, the iPad or the iPhone 4S. No, this video is all about the iPod Nano 6 slash 7th generation because there's no difference in it at all. You've probably also noticed that I have my iPad Nano connected to this wrist strap and I have to say it is a really really nice wrist strap and this is the product that we're going to be telling you about. It comes from a website called Wrist Jockey and I would like to say a huge thank you to them for sending it out for review. Now this particular watch strap is called the Wrist Jockey Admiral and it is made from stainless steel. Wrist Jockey say that it will fit any wrist between six and a half inches and eight and a half inches so it's going to fit pretty much anybody at all. They say it's an extra wide design to accommodate the iPod Nano and I've been wearing it for about a week and a half, two weeks now and I have to say it's really, really comfortable to wear. Each one of these clasps is removable um, so you can adjust it depending on the size. And Wrist Jockey advise that you take it to a jeweler's or a watch strap place and get them to do that. They may charge a little but hey, you know, for it to fit nicely that's what you're going to need to do. Now, like I said, I've been using it for around about two weeks and I have to say, it's really, really nice to wear. It allows you to bring that more professional look to the iPod Nano when you're wearing it as a, as a watch. And I've been wearing this to work and loads of people have commented on it. It holds your iPod Nano really, really nice and securely. And to fit it, all you need to do is open the clasp on your Nano, slide it in, and just where you've got that open there, make sure it fits in and it's going to fit really, really tightly. Now usually watch straps hold the iPod Nano in this kind of direction with the dock either pointing towards your hand or up your arm. And the wrist jockey admiral doesn't do that. It holds it in, well, I say the correct way with the dock connector and the headphone jack pointing downwards and the volume up and down button and your menu switch fitting upwards. Now, there is a small problem with it holding that weight, and that's you do get this little bit of an overhang of the iPod Nano compared to the watch. And it would be nice if there was something that just wrapped around those to protect the edges of the iPod Nano. But other than that, and a small feature about the packaging, this is a really, really nice watch strap. Like I said, it is made of stainless steel, and it is high quality. Um, I've caught this on loads of things, putting the kids in the car, on clothing, and it hasn't come apart, and it doesn't feel like it's going to come apart at all. So the retail value on the Wrist Jockey Admiral is an introductory price of $67.98, and this is why I was expecting a little bit more packaging than I actually got. It would have been nice if it had come in a nice kind of presentation box, but I got mine in this bag. These links were actually attached to the wrist jockey. I've had mine with size and this kind of inlay. Now I do hope if they are sending these out to people, they actually put it in a proper box. And it may be because I got this as a review unit. But taken away from the packaging, the actual product itself is really, really nice. And I think it's a great watch strap. It brings that elegant, more professional look to wearing the iPod Nano as a watch. So I've been D900 Man, this has been the Wrist Jockey Admiral. I do give it a big thumbs up and I absolutely love wearing it. So thanks very much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button just above this video. Thanks very much for watching and we'll be back real soon with some more product reviews.